Hi, hello there everyone and welcome to this live stream, live tutorial on how to use your time effectively. So really um, the purpose of kind of creating this group is to kind of give you guys a uh, kind of a place for support because I kind of know you know in, in these times of certainty there are really um, a lot of um, issues regarding you know whether my exam is going to continue there are a lot of schools currently closed down a lot of public exams you know in high school even university a lot of people that aren't sure um, what things are going to go like in the future so here is kind of like a this community is kind of like a like a support group for you you know asking questions we're going to have uh, tutorials like this uh, hopefully more regularly as we are all kind of a lot of people in love hi hi Hanin um, welcome welcome um, and also the second thing that I want to talk about is the units uh, within this group because uh, the top 10 study secrets is really forms the base of your study and how to use it which is really one of the uh, topics that I will talk to you about today um, so kind of diving right into this regarding using your time effectively so first of all when I when I actually think about when you use your study time first of all you know I kind of break it down into your duration your frequency and intensity of when you know when someone actually comes down to study first of all you know I kind of ask them are you using your time effectively in terms of how long are you studying you know there, there are people that maybe study for 20 minutes a time they use um, or maybe 25 minutes a time um, they use something called a Pomodoro technique maybe that works for them well and I've heard um, students also say that they study for four hours and, you know forcing themselves in the library for the whole afternoon and you know not taking breaks in between so the so the problem comes with this is you know uh, with my first tip on studying effectively is really understanding really your own study efficiency curve so when I actually think about this you've got your productivity right here and you've got your amount of study over on the side time here and product here so the problem is when you first start you know you're kind of in this warm-up zone right what I call warm-up zone so what a lot of people would prone to doing it, you know, they, they, they would study for five minutes, then they check their phone, then they study for five minutes, then they check the phone again. So the productivity actually never reaches a peak where I call productivity zone. So this kind of tends to be normally about 30 minute mark. Um, so once they kind of get in the zone, right, so everything kind of falls apart, you're really focused on task hand. You kind of reach this, what I call the productivity zone. So this is where, you know, a bulk of your work is really done, you know, you are are really really effective in terms of you're probably two three times more effective than when you're here but then here comes the next problem as you study longer usually at around the one hour or you know one and a half hour this is where kind of your productivity drop a lot of people kind of you know reach this burnout phase so the productivity is actually really low so it kind of dips so the more time you put in the more ineffective you get so this is the burnout zone which I've about in video as well so when they spend something like four hours in uh, during the typical study block what happens is this this half they stay in this burnout zone for a long time like the brain goes foggy you know they're, they're hungry they need a break really so kind of what what I recommend is actually trialing because everyone focuses in this productivity zone different some people might might be here 30 minutes some might be 45 minutes some might be an hour for example so the whole thing is kind of experimenting with your own study habits and try not to just you know be fixated oh someone said Pomodoro technique which is you know taking 25 minutes and, and do a task and then take five minutes off because that might be an issue if you might still be in your warm-up zone you might be continuing um, trying to get in the zone per se and never really get into it so kind of try different uh, space intervals in terms of duration and also you know your your frequency as well how often are you studying during the week is it every single day some people study you know eight hours in the weekend and find it unproductive but some people might find that quite productive so so kind of a few pointers where you can try to improve your study time and your quality of your study time which is also your intensity how how well are you able to reach this peak productivity zone so you know this is kind of um, one thing that I really really want you guys to um, you know maybe start trialing you know at now you know you're spending more time at home so you can be trialing these kind of study blocks well preparing for an exam um, you know continue our education um, even though we know that uh, maybe school has some of some, for some of you school have closed but you know continuing with that education so you become more productive and also more knowledgeable than a student that have slacked behind you know in these weeks so um, I just wish to you know get you guys to think
think about with these kind of when you every time when you kind of sit down study just make sure that you think about it you know how long am I am I actually studying for am I actually in the productivity zone am I actually producing a lot of work in that if not you know try a different time and so this is kind of one actionable point that you can really take away today try and implement in your own study so the second thing is, is how frequently you study during the week and then thirdly the intensity as well um, remain thank you for sorry I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name correctly and you're asking you know can we still be as productive on the night so definitely you know um, one of the things that you really need to trial and error um, particularly for your study is really trialing whether you uh, you know what kind of person you in terms of are you really a early person or are you a night owl person you know for, for me uh, I tried uh, to follow what successful people do try to wake up at 5 a.m. at night and you know, 5 a.m. in the morning and try to do work my brain just goes fuzzy and it kind of it doesn't really wake up but for example during my study period I'm able to stay up to you know 2 a.m. 3 a.m. every single night and my brain is still really focused so kind of that trial and error to see whether again assessing whether your productivity is high during the night during the afternoon and during the morning and really just kind of picking your battles right you can't really study the whole day but pick the time um, that you study the best so I hope that kind of addresses your problem um, and also addresses your question as well so um, I think we're just going to conclude this mini tutorial right here if you have any further questions make sure that you use the community also use the units as well um, we're just going to uh, include this live video right here and I hope that you and your family is staying safe and I uh, hope this is okay Thank you.